space is becoming a more challenging environment all the time. We're going to have to start doing things actively to remove debris from the space environment. And we can't really do that with the old style robots built out of joints and booms. We can accomplish a lot of that for some tasks that don't require a lot of force with something that's literally just a circuit board. So the circuit board itself commands a shape and then becomes that shape. It's made from uh, the same materials as ordinary flex circuits, but has a shape memory alloy wire laced through it and it heats up, it causes a rather dramatic shape change. That shape change can be controlled so that we can use it as a robot arm or a shape changing spacecraft. We were thinking of new concepts to fly on the Slingshot 1 spacecraft and the payload that I was leading was focused on advanced robotics and so we wanted to pack as much advanced robotics into a small space as possible and one of the visions was can we reduce the weight, complexity, size of traditional robotics down to as little as possible. Jerry came up with this novel means of producing repeatable, deformable circuit motions using the now called autodynamic flex circuit that, that we worked together to, to realize into the shape that, that it became on Exoromper and this actually crystallized into a technology base that has pretty wild application potential that we're excited to explore. Exoromper has hosted a pair of autodynamics flexible circuits so that we could actually test the circuits in vacuum and microgravity environment space for the first time and so that we can characterize the performance and also understand the utility of the new technology for our future application. We really see there being a broad range of possibilities here for planetary explorers as well as for on-orbit applications. In the Cambrian period there were all of these crazy animals. There's one particular one actually, the hallucigenia, that kind of reminds me of what we've been looking at for making a walking robot. Imagine this backbone of solar cells with a whole bunch of legs underneath it, almost like the tube feet of a starfish. So you'd have a large number of these appendages that would be able to move something along. It would be able to go places where you can't go with a wheeled rover. We need things that are lighter, more nimble, faster, better. And this may be an approach to doing that. So we can make a spacecraft that is something that can address the nations and the world's challenges with regard to space.